Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay XCOM UFO Defense, and when last we left off, we lost our tank. Yet another tank that we have lost. They're definitely starting to show their age, and hopefully we'll be able to build a new type of tank pretty soon. For now, we must finish off exploring the crash landing site of this terror ship by going upstairs. And there appears to be one muton right here. Let's hope you're the last muton, as we give you some plasma! Haha! <laughs> you are gone? And you were the last muton! Mission accomplished 394 points, which is pretty good! We don't have enough rockets or smoke grenades to fully equip the, uh, landing craft, and Ben Saxon has made sergeant, which is all good news. We have, I think, one more tank? We're going to need that final tank, that's for sure. And we have a large scout, Alien Retaliation Australasia. Let's go and shoot that down, shall we? While we consider the things that we're going to sell, and the things that we are going to buy. Let us first get rid of the things that we do not need, like all of these uh, UFO navigations and the alien entertainment. We could also get rid of a few of these uh, alien alloys, but not many of them. We also want to get rid of the silicoid corpses, the sellated corpses, the muton corpses, and we also want to transfer over any rifles that we got, and I believe we probably got a few. Yes, we did! We'll send all of these over to Algo. There we go. Not bad. Now we're going to wait. We're going to wait quite patiently for something to happen. We'll shoot, uh, yep, we'll shoot this one down quite easily. And we could go and deal with this, but right now we're not in a great situation time-wise because of the fact that it is, uh, so far in the day, we don't want to do it. It's evening, we wouldn't be able to, uh, outrun this, not with the craft that we have, so we are going to wait. Ooh, a harvester! Those are not common. You do not often get a chance to take out a harvester. We're gonna take out that harvester, and then we're gonna do a harvester mission. Harvesters are not a vessel that you see very often. They uh, typically don't um, advance the uh, alien score that much, even if their missions succeed. They are very fast, though, and they do have three flaws, which is something you've really got to consider. Three flaws makes these craft quite dangerous. They look more terrifying than they are. Their crew are just as good as any other crew, however, so we need to be very mindful of the fact that uh, we're going to be facing some difficult mutons. It is going to be day by the time we get there. We need to check that uh, we have the, uh, the tank, the final tank that we have right now. I hope we don't lose that one as well. Let us intercept and see what we can do. This could go very badly wrong. There's all the uh, plasma rifles and clips. Maybe we won't deal with this one, but maybe we will. We are at the crash site, and we were ready a grenade. Good idea to do so. Now, do I want to move the tank? Do you know what? I'm not going to move the tank. I'm not going to move anything. I'm going to wait. We hear the doors opening and closing. Let's hope that the mutons don't walk right up to the uh, ramp and then try and kill us. Right, let's now try and leave. There's a shot. There's one muton. Let's move you out to here. There are two mutons. There are only two. Imagine if we'd have gone out uh, when they were ready for us. We'd have probably lost the tank. That was a big risk, though. If uh, the mutons had decided to uh, walk right up to us, we'd have been in some serious bother, but they didn't. So instead, we get to take these mutons out. Hopefully. Please take out the muton. One muton gone. Sub-Zero, there is another muton that I would like you to take care of. No more mutons that I can see. There is only you. I doubt you can get a good shot from over there, though. There we go. You're not getting a good shot from there either, but one uh, hit was all you needed. Right, move over here. We need to see if we can find any more mutons. We have, however, found the, uh, the harvester. It is right there. Three floors. The second floor is not that big. The third floor is rather spacious, if memory serves. 
my memory may not be serving me well, because uh, it's not often that I ever go in to a harvester. Harvesters and abductors are very uncommon. You don't often see them. But when you do see them, it's often a good chance to uh, deal with a slightly easier mission. Because medium vessels aren't as dangerous as large ones. And they're definitely uh, a little more dangerous than a uh, large scout, but let's face it, large scouts can have a lot of uh, aliens in them. A lot of them. Sometimes you'll get less aliens in a harvester than you will in a large scout. There goes the smoke. And there's a shot from over there. We know there's a muton in that direction. Hopefully that muton will not move that much. Let's see if we can find that muton. The muton is... Oh, there's a muton there as well. And one there. Right, well. We can take care of the muton that's over here. At least I hope we can. That's a cactus. That's nothing. That's the muton, but still not dead. Try again, Sub-Zero. That's still not a dead muton. Hmm. We'll have to try something different. Angel? See what you can do about the muton. That was not the muton, Angel, but you tried. That's all I can ask. Okay, Barry, see what you can do about this muton. That muton's not dead. Will be dead pretty soon, I imagine. You could potentially take a shot at the other muton, but we'll have Shopkeeper have a shot first. Let's see what you can do. 40%? That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. And we have more opportunities. Go for it. We need at least one hit here. That's still not a dead muton. We are just not having any luck with taking out this muton. This muton is made of stern stuff. Not stern enough for Barry, however! Ha <laughs> ha! Marvelous. One more kill. Now, I don't remember what side the entrance to the harvester is. We are in a corner, which is good, and the other corner is over there, but there's a lot of, uh, a lot of hills nearby, a lot of sand dunes. We want to be careful of those sand dunes, that's for sure. There are probably also going to be a lot of mutons within the harvester itself. Harvesters are... they have a very spacious ground floor. And there is a hole in the second floor's um, area. You can go into a door and it literally lets you observe an area of the uh, ground floor. If you step in, you fall. Don't do that. It can leave you quite vulnerable to aliens that are on the ground floor. That said, if you're on the second floor, how did you get there without alerting the aliens on the ground floor? Unless you were very sneaky, or very lucky. I don't think there are double doors, so I don't think the tank can get into the uh, UFO. But the tank is certainly serving uh, its purpose as a recon unit. And the, uh, the drawer of enemy fire. Now, we could move you over to here. We could move you over to this cactus. That seems like a good piece of cover. This is when we find an alien over here, and then we are not happy about the fact that we have found this uh, cactus cover. I'm going to take a risk, and I'm going to uh, move over here. There we go. And where is Sub-Zero? You're going to move over here. And hopefully we can cover the ground towards the uh, UFO quickly. Do you have any more movement? You do not. We could throw some more smoke, and that is actually a good idea. Let's prime a grenade, move over to here, and you probably can't throw it, can you? No, you cannot. That was silly of me. Maybe Dawn can prime a grenade and throw it? We do have lots of them, and we have more on the way. Okay, can you throw the grenade? Yes, you can. Not the best throw, but better than nothing. I'll take it. Hidden movement? Doors? No aliens. Good! Good, I, I like the no aliens part. The no aliens part was my favourite bit. Okay, the door is over there. So, that's how they're getting in and out. Okay, Barry, go over here. 
we definitely want to have a look and see if there are any aliens uh, in the outside area because we don't want to be flanked. And worse, we don't want to be halfway through the UFO, then it gets to turn 20, and then we find out that there are uh, aliens that are trying to get in. Because when the aliens figure out where you are, they do not joke around. Also, you're going to have to hold on to that grenade for a while. Like that! Like that alien right there. Hello, you. You know what? You're going to get a rocket. Because I do... Actually, you're going to get a rocket last. Because if you, we fire a rocket now, we're probably going to block the visibility of that alien. Or rather, us being able to see it. Then, try and take out that alien. That was less than satisfactory, but we'll try again. Are any of these going to hit? None of them were even close. You can't get a shot off. Can you get a shot off? Potentially, you could get some off, but they won't be that good. 26% accuracy. Worth a shot. Worth three. That's one hit. The alien is predictably not down. Gonna move you to here. Don't want you to shoot Angel in the back. Civilian? Take your shots. That was the sky you were aiming at. The sky is not your threat here. Three more shots. And, oh, that was close. But none of them are close enough, which is really bad. Alex, see what you can do. I do not want this alien to flank around and uh, kill our soldiers. That is a miss. That's a hit. Aha! Much better. You're gone now. You could have took some shots, but I'd rather that you uh, keep your shots ready. Gonna move you over to the Cactus of Protection here. That cactus is pretty good at protecting people, or at the very least, distracting them. It's probably good for none of those things. Okay, lots of movement in that UFO. Do not like that. Do not like all of the mo- Ooh, hello. I spy a muton. Just there. If I move the tank over to here, the muton will have to move to a better position to fire. A position that will expose it to my soldiers. We could move soldiers to flank. That's an idea. Unfortunately, shopkeeper is currently holding a primed grenade, and thus is not... Oh. Is not that well positioned to take out a muton. Like that one right there. Okay. Civilian? You're going to have to try and take this muton out. This is not going to go so well, because you are so far away. But we'll give it a go. That was not good. That was really bad. Okay, Alex Dentum, you give it a go. You have multiple opportunities here. Go for it. That's sand. That's the muton. Not bad. Just hit the muton again. Close. A little too high. There we go. Good. We don't have to worry about that muton, at least. There are probably more mutons, though. Like the muton here, and any other mutons in that direction. This is just telling me more and more that I need to move in this direction, and start exploring that way. We need to do that. We'll have Sadwick go over here, we'll have Shopkeeper go over here. Shopkeeper has some smoke, just in case we need it. We might need it. Okay, that muton. Where's it going? Don't know. The muton appears to have vanished. Not quite what I wanted to have happen. And by not quite, I mean I did not want that to happen. At all. But it is what it is. Either the muton went back into the, uh, the UFO, or has gone round that corner. I'm going to move more of my soldiers closer. Uh, I feel like we're going to need more soldiers here. We're going to need to secure the entire area around this UFO. There are more mutons around uh, this harvester than I first thought there would be. That's always concerning. We'll have a uh, selection of soldiers here to uh, take some long-range shots if we need them. Very long range. And Angel, you're going to go over here for now. Just uh, wait for an opportunity for a uh, shot or two. But that muton, that muton is concerning. 
very concerning. What do we tank over here? Okay, that muton has definitely gone back into the UFO. Definitely gone back in. That is probably going to come out. No, that muton is going to try and flank and then run away. Good thing that we had shopkeeper here. Good thing we had shopkeeper here. Shopkeeper, find that alien. There's the alien. Right. We have people that are ready to fire on this alien. Like Dawn, go for it. When you actually don't have a cactus in the way. Cactuses are annoying, that is true. There we go. That's one hit. Brilliant. We don't have to worry about that uh, alien anymore. Which is reassuring because that alien was going to be a problem. Do we want to risk going around here? You can go all the way around. I'm going to have you do that. I'm going to have you go this way, and then we're going to wait here. There we go. Now, I'm really concerned about being uh, flanked here. So Shopkeeper is going to go all the way around. Case in point, there is a muton! Right, Alex, this is a long-range shot. That's close. Not as close as I'd like, though. I want some hits here. At least all of this is uh, giving our soldiers a chance to gain some uh, advancements. Right. Ben? Go for it. That was close. All of these are close, but close is not good enough. I actually want to secure a hit here. You could take three more shots. Go for it. Close. Oh, no hits whatsoever. A shame. But what can you do? Civilian, I know what you can do. Try and take some shots. This muton may not know that we're here. I think this muton probably knows that we're here by now, considering how many shots we are blindly firing at the muton. We could fire with the shopkeeper, but I'm going to. That's a hit. Now I could fire again and not be able to move. That is a poor idea. I'm going to uh, have Shopkeeper go back. I'm worried about Barry here. I'm very worried about Barry, so much so that I'm turning Barry that way. Anybody else that could take a shot here? Well, technically, Dawn could try, Postman Pat could try. No line of fire. We could force fire, but that's probably not going to do very much. We'd have to blast through all of the sand, and we have destroyed the Cactus of Protection. What price we have paid for trying to shoot this muton. Let's hope we don't pay any dearer price. We'll need to track down this muton again, for the muton has gone missing. Hmm. I don't want to go with that muton there. I don't want to go inside with the muton unaccounted for. There is the muton. The muton is moving. There is an advantage to the muton moving. That is that, uh, oh, there's a muton right here. Right here. There is a muton right here. There are two entrances to this uh, UFO. Right. Now that we know this, I'm concerned. Please kill this muton. Good. Right. That's not good to know. Two entrances, eh? Two of them. Can you shoot this muton? No, not from here. I know you're holding a grenade. Not the best situation. That was awful. Okay. That was bad. Okay. So, Shopkeeper has a wound, but Shopkeeper will die only in about eight or nine turns. So, that's not terrible. We have lots of people with medkits, that's fine. Need to kill this muton. Need to make sure that my soldiers don't accidentally shoot Shopkeeper. Excellent. You are dead. Good. Hopefully that is now every single muton. Sadwick? I think it is time for you to uh, take care of uh, your colleague's wounds, because oh dear. We shall use the medkit, and we need to uh, treat this with a heal. There we go. 
And just like that, your wounds are no longer critical. You're still probably going to need to uh, spend some time after the mission recuperating, but I'd rather that than you be dead. Suffice to say, this Harvester mission has been far more challenging than I ever thought it would be. Oh my, I don't like this Harvester ship. Remind me the next time I ever think, ooh, a Harvester, let's go into that one, go, no, no, don't do it, Kiko, and then I can't hear you because this is recorded before you say that. But do it anyway. Just do it anyway. Maybe somehow I'll be reminded. Somehow. And so, when we come back, folks, the Harvester vessel here. There are still some aliens within it, and I'm still very concerned. Very concerned. But then again, I'm always concerned about these vessels because they're full of aliens that want to kill us. But what else is new? And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.